I'm hoping in a couple of hours, I'm gonna feel like all better. I was really not sure even until five or 10 minutes before we left. Good morning guys, Mary's in doing her best. Ollie and I took a walk this morning and now I am off to a lunch meeting and I'm gonna go a little early and uh, get a little bit of work done. I'm gonna be preaching this Sunday at our church and um, go work on that message a little bit. Mary and the animals are gonna hang out here. I have a funny story about last night. In the middle of the night, Often Harry falls asleep in our bed, and like in between Mary and I, and we call it a capsule. When we wrap him up in a blanket, he often will just stay wrapped up in that blanket for the night instead of instead of a capsule. It's a capsule. Anyways, he was in his capsule, and then middle of the night, he crawls out and he comes over and stands over my head like, "Dude, I need under the covers." And usually when that happens in the middle of the night, he crawls down under the covers, then crawls back up and like snuggles up in my armpit. But last night, I don't know if it was colder in the house last night, but he crawls under the covers and crawls under my weighted blanket and like next to my legs. And he slept under my weighted blanket all night long. It was pretty funny, but he's a funny dude and he is a blazing inferno. Like, that cat is so hot. Yeah, you, uh, this is like a, if you didn't know this about Sphinx, they, their body temperature runs really hot. I think because they don't have hair. And he really wants to snuggle, but buddy, I have to go to a meeting. You're gonna have to hang out with Mary, okay? Well, hello everybody. Hello. Hello. Peter is out, he had a meeting this morning, and I've just been like, I took it slow this morning. I stayed in bed an extra hour or something. I just felt like I needed a slow morning, and now I think I know why. I just don't feel great. I feel like I'm potentially getting a headache. I don't know, I just feel off. Something doesn't feel right. Just trying to reach your back you know how hard it is to lick your own back he's experiencing that right now um yeah but i was getting some things done i did the dishes i was happy to do that and then we had clean sheets that needed to go up on the third floor on that guest bed so i took those up and then i realized my blood sugar was dropping so i came down to fix that and i'm just like you know what i do not feel great I don't need to be trying to get things done. I just need to be. So that's what I'm doing. And I was just so happy to be surrounded by my animals. And I just saw Peter pulling in. You hear Peter? <laughs> Yay, Peter's home. All right, guys, I am back from my meeting and Harry's chilling in the sun. This is his midday spot. Sun comes in that window. He sits on the top of the couch or the side of it. Ollie's chilling on the floor. <coughs> Mary's having an acai bowl. We found these at Sam's Club. Yeah. In the freezer section. It's pretty cool. It was like a box of four of them. And I think they're pretty good. I'd, yeah. buy, I'd buy them again. Yeah, me too. They're like a fun little pull out for mm -hmm. breakfast or lunch. Not <clears throat> not like an everyday thing. Yeah, like a, a couple like, times a week. Like today, I I took one to my meeting, my lunch meeting, and had it for lunch. And yeah. that reminded me, and now that's why I'm eating one. Yeah, but it's good. I think they were like two fifty a piece, which if you buy one out, it'd be like ten dollars a piece. Caught you. Caught you with your head on the pillow. Oh my goodness. 
the sun the sun got a little brighter and so things developed in the lounging cat arena. Oh my His little radar. His little ears were like, I hear you talking about me. He's just flat out on his side. Laying across three pillows. <laughs> that is pretty cute. What? Oh, he's feeling silly in the sun. Are you getting silly? Baby, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Just, okay. just a cat in the sun. Oh, sorry my bowl oh. is in your way there. Here, Bones. you can hop up. There you go, Bonesy. Oh. <laughs> Can I tell a little story? Yeah, tell us a story. So, maybe, how long ago did we get that dog statue? Uh, a while, I don't Clearance remember. Clearance at like TJ Maxx or something. One time we saw this dog statue for a couple of dollars. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. <coughs> this one right here. It's been yeah. on our stairs. And then when Harry entered our family, I was like, oh babe, next time we're at TJ Maxx, we should take a look if they have a cat one. And it's almost been two years now that we've had Harry, and we still have never found. I've searched online, and I'm looking for one kind of similar, like a black, just kind of plain animal cat statue. And specifically a sphinx would be great. Well, we just have never found anything that quite meets my, what I wanted in my mm -hmm. head. So... A few weeks ago, I saw somebody, like an artist, who makes these in, I think they're in Russia, maybe. I ordered it through Etsy, and it's like this big, but it works out proportionally pretty well. Okay, we've got Ollie up here, yeah. and then we have Harry Boy. Here it is, but here's the funny thing about it. It's pretty amazing. But it came and the eyes were like bright green. And Harry's eyes are just such a fluorescent blue. I was like, if only we could change the color of the eyes of it. So. I painted them. Yeah. So Mary painted them blue. Don't zoom in too far. <laughs> you can still see some green through it. I was trying not to go too crazy. And I actually used watercolor and gouache to do it so if this cat gets wet his eyeballs will like drip down his face mm -hmm. but, um, yeah we got this to represent you that's you buddy <laughs> some of you have commented that harry has gotten darker oh yeah he totally and, has and he totally has <laughs> when we first got him he was pink Pretty much. Translucent even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's because he loves being outside. Mm -hmm. He's basically tanned in yep. the sun. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty funny. All right. I am feeling a little bit better. I've been up off the couch for a little while. And Peter's outside working. Hi guys. Working on one of the rats and working on our little pathway here. Did you tell him that you're preaching on Sunday? I think I did. So he's been working on that and working now on the pathway. Was the toad there again? I didn't see him. He must have moved on. And of course the animals wanted to come outside. Harry's over there sticking his head off the railing.
Hi, bud. What are you looking at? I'm hoping in a couple of hours I'm gonna feel like all better. Uh, we have outdoor Bible study tonight, so I'm hopeful that I'll feel just great and I'll be able to go. Like I said a little while ago, we have an outdoor Bible study that we do on Wednesday nights. And we have to bring our own dinner, of course. So tonight it's peanut butter and jelly. I find that every single Wednesday, I don't plan a dinner and then we eat some strange mix of food that I find in our kitchen. Hey, we're always fed and it doesn't have to go together to make a meal. I guess. <laughs> so tonight, since it's at somebody else's house, we need to bring our dinner with us so it needs to be portable. So peanut butter and jelly it is. And it looks like I'm going to finish this jar of jelly, which is really satisfying to be able to like wash that jar out. I don't know, that is just a satisfying feeling when you finish up a container of food. Yeah. All right. Okay, I was really not sure even up till five or 10 minutes before we left. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to go, but I went and as always, your heart needs people and even physically when I was like, I do not think I can go, I pushed myself and I went and my heart is so glad. I was trying to turn the light on for you guys, but now you can't see me anyway, so there we go. My lungs feel tired, but I feel so much better than I did earlier. And I think I'm just gonna do my best and get ready for bed. Peter and Ollie are on a walk. You'll see them when they get back. Well, we are home from our friend's house where we had our backyard gathering. It was weird. We All summer long, we've had it in our backyard. But now that we're renovating the lawn, we switched to locations and it was weird to, to like have somewhere to go, which was kind of actually kind of nice because I feel like we don't get out much. And so that's not true. We get out plenty, uh, but it was fun to go to somebody's house, else's house and or backyard and just connect over life and Jesus and what he's doing in our lives and Ollie and I just got back from a walk and are you panting was it hot out there it's actually not too bad out there these days Mary just went upstairs to take a bath get ready for bed we're gonna wrap it up here and say as always we'll see you tomorrow good night Ollie we'll see you tomorrow